Hey everyone, Sean Tierney here, and in today's episode of the Automation Minute, we're going to talk about the 1756 CMB, the Control Net Module for the Control Logics. And let's just take a look at the front of it here. And we can see at the top it says Control Net. We have an A, because this is a CMB, not a CMBR, so it only has an A, not an A and a B. We have an OK light, we have that diagnostic display which tells us all kinds of stuff like if there's a duplicate node on the address or if it's disconnected etc and then here this is not an ethernet port this is a network access port a nap <laughs> don't take a nap this is a network access port stay awake um, and you need a control net pc card to connect to that or like a u2 uh, cn cable or a, 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 a pci uh, control net card so that is not an Ethernet port, that is a control net port, and uh, you really need an expensive module to plug into that. Um, at the bottom, we can see our A port, our B and C port here. Okay, and uh, let me move that down so we can actually see it. Okay, and that's where the control net would connect. Now, I've, in the field, I've seen a lot of people just try to connect B and C Ts to that, like it's a token ring or some kind of old Ethernet network, right? It's not. You need a official tap. I don't have any here to show you right now. Actually, I do. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm right back. And uh, here is an official control net tap. And uh, this I have on the bottom, I have a resistor to terminate the network. And then because I don't want a lot of cables here in my office, I do use a BNC to BNC connector to connect my next tap. And then this is the side that goes into the CMB module. And you need this if you expect your system to work correctly. Now, I know these probably cost 50, 60 bucks, right? But if you're doing a control logic system, it's probably costing you hundreds of thousands of dollars for that system, right? And um, you're probably making hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of uh, product every hour, right? So don't, don't try to cheap out and, and try to put the system together with just BNC connectors because I've had seen so many systems that would not run with just standard BNC connectors and Ts that uh, I just think it's funny. What, why are you saving 50 bucks on a system that costs 50,000 or 150,000 or more? So um, you need these official, there's actually, Rockwell tells us there's actually some electronics in here. You need these official T's to get the system to work. So if you don't want to use these T's, just don't use control net. And, uh, but if you're going to use control net, you need these. And the other thing to keep in mind too is um, a lot of, you know, we use RG6 for control net and um, quad shielding. And um, I've just seen so many bad connections. I would say half of all control net issues are just lousy connections when people crimp on the BNC connectors. So if you can't buy them pre-made, which in some cases you can't because you're running a very long distance, then make sure you buy a great set of crimpers. And uh, what your turn radius is, I've seen people put these things into a two-inch piece of Panduit. Really? The, the bend radius on RG6 is not will not allow it to fit in a two inch piece of Panduit, you know? So, um, you know, I love going up to them and wiggling them and then things drop off the network. It's just like, what were you thinking? Really? But uh, in any case, uh, funny stories. I love telling them. Um, that's, uh, that's the, uh, the tease you'll need. And they come in all different, they come in straights, they come in right angles, they come in all different versions. But I wanted to show you that. And, um, you know, besides that, we have the label. And on the label, you can see the part number, 1756 CNB. You can see it's a Series D. You can see it, uh, it came from the factory with version 5.22 firmware. You can see when it was manufactured. You can see the barcode number here that we use for like warranty replacements. This is well out of warranty. Um, you can see some other diff different uh, information on there as well. But on the back, you'll also see the network address. Because um, a lot of times when you put this in the field or if you're assembling machines at an OEM, you just want somebody to be able to dial in an address and not have to worry about getting a laptop out to set an address. So they have that there and those are represented by these two switches here. Okay, so you dial in your network address and you're good to go.